feel like collabing with Kick the Grind was a bad idea. <laughs> it always is. Okay, so we were given a private table on the top of the restaurant. We've got Dan and Marina here. What is up, amigos? And we were given one menu. And I, what I remember from being here last time is they had a very large pre-Hispanic menu. So basically what the Aztecs of this area ate before the Spanish came and... <coughs> <Ooh>. <coughs> before the Spanish came... <coughs> before the Spanish came and introduced their food. So what I mean by that is there's a lot of insects on the menu and that is why we are here today. Dan, open, up, open, the, <laughs> open the menu for us. Guaraches, flautas, cochinita, bambas. Ah, here we go. This is menu pre hispanico. Okay, do you know what escamoles are? Snails? Nope. <laughs> do you know what? Uh, Chapolinas are? I mean, I could cheat and look at the picture. They look like crickets? Yeah, okay. Cocopaches? Cocopaches, I don't know, but I bet it has more than two legs. Chinequiles? Chine Chinequiles? Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm here with my man Dan of The New Travel, and we're sitting in front of the Huarache Ancestral at Tlacoyotitlan. This thing is covered in an entire forest full of insects. On the right, your left, we have chapulines, which are crickets. We have gusano de maguey blancos, big worms that live in the maguey plant. We have a scorpion. We have cocopaches, which are a beetle that live in the mesquite tree. Oh my god. We have chilequiles, also another worm that lives inside the maguey. And underneath, hidden, is a nice smear of ant larva. Today, we are gonna dive into this delicious pre hispanic dish. Are you ready? Ready as I'll ever be. <laughs> Dan's never had bugs before, so we're going deep today. No, that's not true. I've never intentionally had bugs. Okay. <laughs> had when bugs. you were sleeping, right? You eat spiders when you sleep sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> I've been to some dodgy restaurants. I've had, I've had bugs. But wait, before we try it, we have a fuzzy guinea pig here with us today. Neptuno? He's ready. Did he eat it? He did. Is it? Oh, this is like crunch. <laughs> Time to dig into the Huarache Ancestral at Clacoyotitlan in Santa Maria. La Rivera. La Rivera. Riviera. 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 It's a bit like a bug pizza, right? That is exactly what I would call <laughs> Except it. Except for none of the none of the yeah. ingredients in a normal pizza. So I think maybe let's let's try a couple of them independently first. Yeah. And maybe the subscribers at home can tell them or tell us whether or not you've had some of these before and whether you like them or not. Mm -hmm. So one I've never had before are these cocopaches. These beetles that live in the bark of the mesquite tree. Wow. So I think we should try them at the same time. They're big, you can still see the wings and it looks like they're missing their head and they're missing their legs. Dan's first beetle. Three, Cheers, man. Two, one. Mm. There's not much inside. You got there's a, a, you there's got a, a lucky one. There's a taste coming in after. Mine had a full stomach. <laughs> that sounds delicious. Mine didn't. It's got a little bit of a sour taste. It doesn't taste like too much. It kind of tastes a bit like just wood. You know? There's not too much of a taste, at least to mine. Really? Do we have different bugs? Mine tastes like a beetle. <laughs> no, we might have had different bugs. <laughs> Mine tasted all right. Mine tasted okay. Have a bite. Shall I? That one I think very strongly tastes like incense. At least there's nothing like gushing out of it. I, li <laughs> I like how dry it is, you know? It reminds me of uh, these Asian chips, like lobster chips. That texture, you know, it just has that kind of chip texture to it. All right, we've split one of the larger gusanos de maguey. Cheers, man. Okay, nothing yet, nothing yet. 
They're hollow. I thought they might like explode, but they're not bad. Mm. What does that taste like? Celery? Bugs, a little bit like bugs, celery. A little bit like bugs. A little bit like bugs. You don't, you don't have a, like a celery hit off that? I don't know, man. My bug palette isn't quite as refined as yours is. <laughs> like, well, man, we've tried basically everything on here except for the scorpion. Yeah, that scary looking mother. I think we should section it off and have it the way it's supposed to be had, which is everything together on a slice of pizza okay. style bite. So we have the entire selection of insects in one actual bite. You can have the pointy end. That's your section. No. Pretty sure I will die of poisoning if I get that in my mouth. It's still super sharp. Let's see if we can beat 9.5 out of 10. I thought it was delicious, honestly. Ready? Are you ready? Oh, we're ready. No, I'm not ready. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel so we are, we're, both, we're, right both, we're both ready. <laughs> okay, product shot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And? Yeah. Is that a good sound? You're thinking about it. Are you let go to stuck in my... <laughs> On my throat. <laughs> a little leg got stuck in your throat. Mm. Mm. It's like you said, it's like a lot of textures. What would you give it out of 10? This iron flavor at the end, I don't like it a lot, so I, I would give it like 7. It's a bad. It is whatever you think it is. I. So we say we saved we've saved the big point for last. We've took the scorpions off of the warache. We are going to eat them all together for the outro of the video. I'm getting some laughter. <laughs> the owner of the restaurant is laughing over there in the corner. Marinella's a little bit freaked out. We, <laughs> we were told to take off the legs and the stinger because all are very, very, very sharp. And we've got three pieces of fresh, crunchy scorpion for us all to enjoy for the outro. One piece of scorpion, two pieces of scorpion, three pieces of scorpion. Down the hatch. And Dan, Cheers. Dan is the head. Skull. Skull. Prost. Cheers. Salud. Prost. Uno, dos, scorpion. <laughs> oh, I gotta do it. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Mmm, I like it. <laughs> you almost mm. cut your arm. <laughs> Actually, it's got, it's got like, it tastes a little bit burnt, yeah? And you could not be gripping that fork any tougher. <laughs> <laughs> any scorpions. And your arm almost like... <laughs> Does it taste a little bit soapy? I've never tasted anything like that before in my life. Oh, I washed it before you had it. Oh, there was some soap in mine. Oh, I see, I see. Thanks for d disinfecting it for me. That's your payback for all these bugs. What do you think? No. <laughs> I like it. How was it? First scorpion? No, I've had scorpion once before. Oh. On the streets of Thailand, and this was actually better. Ooh. Oh. But it's got Take like, that, Thailand. But it, it, like, there's this taste that like sticks in the back of your throat, right? Yeah. Like you feel it stuck to the back of your throat. It's like, you know when you eat peanut butter sometimes, and there's like a pastiness that sticks to your mouth? I have that in the back of my tongue right now. Like, I need like a, mm. a knife to scrape it off. Yeah, uh-huh. Do you have it there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're not so scary, buddy. You're like peanut butter with claws. <laughs> All right, we're here debating whether or not to eat one more scorpion. I want to say you've got to come check out this restaurant, La Coyotitlan, in Santa Maria de la Viviera. Rivera. Rivera neighborhood. <laughs> in Mexico City, and I mean this genuinely, I have not found a better spot to try the strange insect food that the Aztecs ate. This is the spot to come try it. It's not too far away from the centro and they've got some weird stuff and I've got some weird friends to go with it. Experience our possessions, kick the grind, check out Mariano's channel and Dan's channel. Jen, Dan's also making a video about this and we also ate Antec ice cream. If the video's not posted yet, it will be shortly. Check out all that stuff. Come yeah, here, out, eat some out, bugs. Experience our possessions. <laughs> kick the grind and I'll get you guys in the next video. Peace.